All right, here we got a 15-foot 750 drill. It does have uh, seven and a half inch spacings. It's got grass seed, hard to find, two-point hitch, hookup. This guy retired from farming. There's still some bevel on the blade. The row units, as you can see here, pretty tight. Um, it's like it's a 10,000 941 serial number, so it's kind of middle of the road there. Um, went to pick it up, had been sitting in the barn, and he had put two brand new tires on the back of this. Um, this drill should be really good. It's, it's, it is, look at this on the side plate, it's very tight. It's good in the box. Um, I think the rubber wheels are pretty decent. Like I say, it's still feel bevel on the blade. We'll try to get you a picture of the boots the best we can. It does have the, uh, it's got a lot of blade life left under them boots. I, he's not, a, wasn't a big farmer, didn't farm a lot of acres. It does have uh, the John Deere cups on it. And I think you'll find when she gets up there and videos the top, it's really good. It's not cracked up or anything like that. Corners with a crack, it's not. This thing is very, very, very straight. It's got a little place right there. Yeah, it's got a little place in the lid. Here, I'll lift that up. Looks like he's kept her oiled up and in good shape. She's got the seating rate chart under the lid. Okay. Uh, but it seems to be in pretty good shape. He hasn't used it in several years. Okay. So expect to have to put some grease and oil in places, but. It's got the right things on it. Now, he has not used the grass seed sometime, and he did not have these, which is just a rubber hose that goes down and drops, I believe, drops into these seed units. So, if you're going to use the grass seed, you've got to get the rubber hoses. We, we don't have those. 